I'm going to be creating a very, very simple patch that has a sine wave, and we'll be turning that sine wave on and off uh, via an audio multiplication object. So let's go ahead and place the oscillator for the sine wave, and we'll just have it be at A440. Then we'll place the um, audio multiplication, which is star tilde, and I'm gonna scale it a lot. So times 0.25, make sure it's 0.25 and not 25. And I'll clean this up a little bit. And then I'll create another audio multiplication object. So star tilde uh, with no argument. And this will be the way that we mute and play the sound. I'll connect these two together. And finally, when we want to send audio to the device, we'll use the DAC. I'll create an object. DAC tilde, and I'll go ahead and put the outlet of this final multiplication object to both of the inlets of the DAC. Excellent. Now, what I'll do is I will create a toggle, and this toggle is just so that I can test the patch. Essentially, it's representative of a switch that I'll create in iOS, and this toggle will be going to a send, and that send will be on off, capital O for off. Then, I'm going to create a corresponding receive, and that'll be R on off. All right, and then I'll connect the outlet of that to the rightmost inlet of the last multiplication object. And so here what we're doing is we're creating a mute by multiplying by zero, which just means there's no amplitude, and that's when the toggle's off, or multiplying by one, which means it really just sort of passes this stuff through. Now let's turn on the DSP. So we'll go to media DSP on. And if we want to hear this, we toggle it on and we toggle it off. And that's how it'll work, except you'll see a switch on the device. Okay, I need to save this. So I'll save this and we'll save this here on the desktop. I'll just save it to the root of the containing folder and call it main.pd. And with that saved, I'll head to my Xcode project and then as well have the finder window open. I will drag main PD into the navigator area somewhere within this uh, folder, my PD project that has the manila folder just here at the bottom. And then when given the option to choose, I will copy the items if needed and leave the remaining choices as they are. And then choose finish. Save that, and the next thing that I need to do is initialize my PD instance within Xcode. 